Hey people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you have any good help. Okay, so today we're going to discuss virtual assistants and basically what's the benefits of having a virtual assistant. Here at Auto Empire, we do provide a service which includes virtual assistants. So let's take a look at some of the benefits here on Software Article. Okay, so 10 benefits of hiring a virtual assistant. Now, hiring a virtual assistant comes with many potential benefits. They can help you save time, money and energy, which you can reallocate towards aspects of your business that need your personal touch. So things like time saving, improved turnaround for time consuming tasks, reduced costs in terms of staffing and operations, increased scale of operations, expanded reach, improved customer service, renewed focus on core business services, improved work-life balance and productivity, as well as well-being. So let's take a look. So, time savings. Being a small business owner can be taxing. Your schedule is probably packed with more tasks that you can wrap your head around, right? So instead of stretching yourself, you know, thin, handling non-strategic tasks, you can delegate tasks to your virtual assistant. This will give you more time to concentrate on achieving larger business goals. So now, you see in a business, you might have tasks which you could basically hide out and get someone externally like a virtual assistant. It's like what we call a $20 an hour task, right? Whereas you could be working on something which is going to bring you in maybe $1,000 for that day, right? So if you're now doing the admin task, you know, which is basically like a $20 task that you can outsource, then you're losing time and you're not having enough time to be able to, you know, get the money and get the sales in terms of the higher ticket offers that you might have in your business. So that's one of the benefits here in terms of time saving, you know, by using virtual assistants. So you can sit, consider hiring virtual assistant from another time zone. Some entrepreneurs use this tactic to increase their business operating hours beyond the normal eight hours as such in their personal time zone and obviously more coverage and you know, comms and so on. However, you know, that might be beneficial, but sometimes, you know, it's better to have somebody potentially from your own region. Reason being, you know, understanding culture or business practice within that area, understanding language used and also being able to empathize better in terms of contextualization, you know, that some of the issues that the businesses might be facing, you know, a local virtual assistant may be able to you know, be able to deal with those type of things much more effectively. Okay, so turnaround time and, you know, basically removing time consuming tasks. So is there a particular task that you're putting off every day or such? So, you know, it could be something anything from responding to customer emails, filling out forms, you know, why those tasks like these are important for business tracking and keeping customers happy. They may not always require your personal touch and may be better off delegate to an assistant. I mean, similar to what I was just saying before then. So instead of spending your day, you know, doing defined repetitive tasks, which you can essentially get out, like I said, $20 an hour task, basically, get it outsourced and, you know, take that time burden away from you, you know, letting your virtual assistant or personal assistant deal with that so you can focus on the top line, helping the business grow. Right, reducing costs for staffing and operations. Hiring a full-time or part-time in-person assistant can be expensive. Apart from you know paying their monthly salary, you will typically also have to provide medical insurance and other benefits. Basically, you know payroll, pension, taxes, all this kind of stuff. You also have to do. Now, if you hire a VA online, you know they could basically just send you an invoice and then they could take care of all the taxes in their own locality themselves. Whereas you know you don't have to worry about things like you know holiday pay and you know pension and all that because they're not on your payroll. So that's one of the potential benefits in terms of staffing operations. So virtual is on the hand, you know, they work as independent contractors, so to speak. So, you know, you only need to pay them for the number of hours they work or for the tasks completed. Since virtual assistants work remotely, you can hire a professional from anywhere in the world. And this means you have a larger pool in terms of skills and talents to kind of, you know, seep through in terms of finding a VA. Now, when you hire a VA, you know, you also save money on training costs, potentially, especially if they're skilled. And they can hire individuals who already possess the skills required. So you won't need to invest in extensive training and, you know, you're potentially able to find a VA that can, you know, take on duties and potentially already equipped, have the skills to be able to deal with some of the 
work requirements you have in your business. Okay, increasing scale of operations. So when you're growing the business from scratch, you know, predicting what you'll need in the next month or four can be, it's quite tough to be honest in terms of projecting or forecasting, you know, cash flow, sales, that type of stuff. You have to focus on that and build that up. So hiring, you know, full-time employees at, you know, having overheads like a physical office is, you know, can be quite expensive and requires a lot of upfront investment. So having a VA there is also beneficial because they can be working remotely so you don't have to potentially have an office space for them because they could be working from home using their laptop and Wi-Fi. So obviously that's going to cost less in terms of your overheads because you're not paying for desk space or an office to, you know, actually have them there physically. And that will be, you know, beneficial in terms of keeping overheads down and costs down. So that will potentially increase profit margins as well. Uh, also expanded reach. So having an online presence is no longer optional for brands. You need to be online because uh, obviously the digital space is the new, like they call it the new fourth industry revolution. So everything's pretty much happening online right now. So a lot of people, you know, a lot of customers are buying, purchasing online these days from major, you know, websites out there, just in the normal small websites as well. And it says it's estimated in the next like three years or so, 24% of all global retail uh, sales will be you know, made digitally. That's nearly a quarter. So that is a big, big figure there that you need to consider. Don't get left behind like other entities in the past. You know, make sure you're on front of the trend and dealing with it effectively. So having, you know, consistent data marketing strategy is essential in terms of meeting your target audience's needs and increasing brand awareness boosting conversions. So if you're not familiar with the world of digital marketing, or you don't want to set up a full-fledged marketing team, you know, you can use a VA to do the marketing for you. So they can create you a sales funnel, they can do marketing, they can do lead generation, all those different things to help you get more clients, more sales. Uh, potentially improve customer service. So providing good customer service is a priority for any company, any entity. So not only does that, you know, practice help you build Long-term relationships, obviously having relationships with customers is where you're going to make money because of loyalty, perhaps, you know, the trusting of the brand, transparency and all that. So, you know, these kind of results basically help increase revenue by having good customer service. So roughly 73% of business leaders report a direct link between the customer service and overall business performance. You can see the power of having strong customer service. VAs can take care of customer service. They can answer emails run mailboxes, you know, even if, if you need them to pick up phones, they could do that potentially and then provide the relevant customer service in terms of, you know, dealing with any customer queries. Then you're looking at new focus on core business areas. So when you start your first business, you like to handle most of the tasks by yourself. So when I started my business, I had to pretty much do everything myself from the accounts, the marketing, lead generation, content creation, all these different things that you need which are different parts of a moving vehicle of your business that you need to focus on. So at the start, you might not have much money or much resources, but you know, that's actually can be beneficial because then you learn all the nitty gritty stuff, all the different components that make up a business. So you become pretty clued up, pretty skilled, pretty quickly because you're in the thick of it doing your first time. And then as you go on and go along, so you can hire other, you know, VAs potentially, or if you have some resources at the start, you could hire years straight away to kind of you know allow you to build up that business and push you forward in terms of various elements so having the admin work outsource can be beneficial there improve work-life balance so obviously if you've got VA that then buys back your time so with that you can actually spend more time doing the things that you love you can obviously work on top line revenue generation or you can spend more time with your family maybe some time leisure activities depending on the particular situation of the business itself and where it's heading. But generally speaking, you know, having VAs, they can be doing, you know, the time consuming tasks, the nitty gritty stuff, you know, admin, administrative work, chasing up clients, chasing up invoices, sending invoices so that you could, you know, have that work life balance. And obviously productivity. So again, if you've outsourced the, you know, VA to a VA to do things like admin work, uh, or they've got specialized skills that they can do certain tasks, which, you know, you, you don't want to do in terms of allowing you to do things that can also increase your productivity because a few hours that you have in the day, you could actually spend 
on doing things that are going to be concrete to your business development. You know, for example, gaining market share, getting your brand out there, that kind of stuff. So you can actually do that. And you can also have more time to build up your productivity to make sure that you're doing the, the actual tasks that you're doing within that short period of time. And then you've got your VA doing all the other stuff, which may be either boring or maybe time consuming or just basic stuff that doesn't really move the needle, more repetitive type tasks. And then obviously, you know, your emotional well-being. If you've got VA, so you've got other people that you could, you know, delegate tasks to, micromanage. So you've got other people in the business that are helping the business plot long, move and help it grow as well. And obviously that's going to be beneficial in terms of reducing stress potentially, improving emotional well-being and health because obviously you're not focusing on you know basic stuff because you've got that outsource to a VA where you're just focusing on the most important things, the most important elements of your business and the aspects. So, you know, that will help your business become more successful potentially more quickly and obviously that's going to give you better well-being and health. Okay, people, that was 10 quick different ways in terms of the benefits of having a VA, a virtual assistant. Obviously, that could be someone working from home remotely using, you know, their own Wi-Fi, laptop, computer, and then obviously, you know, dealing with, with elements of your business, you know, operations and so on. So I hope you did enjoy that video. Please do like, share, subscribe. But don't forget, at Ultra Empire, we do provide virtual assistant services and we have world-class admin services as well. So if you want to get in touch and explore what we have on offer, email, drop us an email on info at roadtoempire.com. That's I-N-F-O at R-O-A-D-T-O-E-M-P-I-R-E.com. Info at roadtoempire.com. And we can basically arrange a chat, you know, or online and then just see what things are in terms of your position of your current business operations right now and we can help you in terms of doing things like administration getting rid of those basic tasks so that you can focus on what's going to generate you more money more revenue and build your business okay people comment below let us know what you think don't forget to subscribe catch you in the next one